Madam Chair, and thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, Madam Chair, just to remind uh, the resource persons and uh, for the record of the committee, uh, I filed uh, two resolutions uh, with regard to these emergency powers, and I wanted our resource persons um, initially in July palang, nung hindi pa pinag-uusapan yung emergency powers, uh, being knowledgeable of the fact of the JICA study on our roadmap uh, that uh, we wanted the resource persons to make a presentation to the committee with regard to ano ba talaga yung transport plan natin moving forward. Uh, uh, and then of course later on napag-usapan na yung emergency powers and I did file another resolution. I attended the first two hearings of the committee and in the second hearing, I requested our resource persons, particularly the DOTR, to submit a draft bill and uh, to the committee, specifically what they want uh, with regard to the emergency powers. Uh, and uh, I'm happy to note that they have submitted the draft bill. And I've read the draft bill. At uh, uh, going over the draft bill, medyo parang malabong malabo yung nabasa ko dito sa draft bill. Pangalawa, Madam Chair, we re also requested that the DOTR or the executive branch submit also to the committee the projects that they want to implement under the emergency powers. And they have submitted to the committee a list of projects totaling roughly 1.3 trillion pesos. Now, I'd like to relate all these projects together, uh, Madam President baka isipin ng DOTR na itong emergency powers ay isang supplemental budget or another general appropriations act which is not the case uh, uh, madam uh, madam chair no um, i'd also like to find out uh, from the committee today if we have a representative from NEDA because NEDA will play a very important role in all these transport or infrastructure projects. Uh, it looks like that NEDA is not around. Baka siguro ang NEDA hindi iniisip na mahalaga. Correct. The committee has invited NEDA and uh, they, are not, uh, they are not here today. So maybe they are telling the committee na hindi kailangan itong emergency powers. And why is that important, Madam President, um, Madam Chair? No? Most of these projects will go through NEDA dadaan din to sa NEDA board. Ha? Nagkaroon ng pulong ang NEDA board itong September. They've approved 118 billion worth of projects. Not all of them are transport related. So tignan natin kung mahalaga ba talaga sa ating pamahalaan itong problema ng traffic. No? But uh, if I may be allowed, Madam Chair, magumpisa tayo uh, kung pwede before the presentations. No? Just a clarification para we're on the same page. No? And all of this naman pwedeng maayos eh, as far as the draft bill is concerned, di ba? Okay. Just initial thoughts, uh, Madam Chair, no, on the draft bill. Um, what they submitted, Traffic and Congestion Crisis Act. Okay? Yun ang title ng draft bill. No? In the scope, it's a Section 3 Declaration of Policy it would appear that what you want is emergency powers for the entire country. Land, sea, and air, geographically, for the entire country. Is that the intention of the DOTR? Is that what you're actually requesting for? Madam Chair, good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. Kasi kung ganun, parang walang focus. Your Honor. Uh -huh. So, Yusa Kriensha, you can answer this question. Yes. yes. Your Honor, the uh, grant of emergency power for the DOTR to uh, address congestion is aimed at uh, equipping the DOTR with the sharpened tool to uh, address not just traffic congestion in Metro Manila, but also in other uh, urban areas, uh, such as Cebu and Davao, and all other areas which are on the verge of experiencing so, sa madaling salita, buong Pilipinas. Um, yes, Your Honor. Those that we are experiencing and uh, on the verge of experiencing traffic problems. So, maliwanag tayo dito. Buong Pilipinas. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And you're talking about land, 
C and air. Um, yes, Your Honor. A holistic approach uh, to address the problem. Okay, Your Honor. now. Okay, so guys, let's move on. Huh? So, in effect, basically, what you are saying is to a certain degree, all these projects that you listed down, non CNR, direct contracting, by and large, we will not be using the procurement law today. Um, yes, Your Honor, we... Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Huh? Okay, para maliwanag yun. Huh? I don't have much time eh, because I still have a CA hearing as well. Okay, well, let's move on. Okay. So, Bong Pilipinas, Land CNR. Okay. And then, there is a section 6 on creation, reorganization, and abolition of offices. The president already has his inherent powers, iyo ba? That is true, Your Honor. So, hindi na kailangan to dito? Your Honor, if only to emphasize the need to create and reorganize offices to address the traffic okay, problem. Okay, but ulitin natin, ha? Maliwanag. The president already has his powers. We agree, Your Honor. Okay? So, hindi kailangan actually here in this bill. Okay? That is existing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Meron tayo yung Section 7, formulation of the decongestion and transportation network reform plan. Gagawin pa lang ninyo yung plano? May plano na ba talaga kayo? O gagawin pa lang? Kailangan ba dito sa emergency powers itong isulat natin na gagawa pa lang kayo ng plano? Kasi it would appear, wala pa kayong plano. Um, Your Honor, we have a D... There is an ongoing uh, preparation um, for the DOTR plan, uh, but uh, what we would have wanted to, uh, to formulate uh, is a decongestion plan that will involve all the other uh, related issues. So, sa madaling salita, wala pa ang plano? Wala pa po. Okay. Section 8, Ap appointment of a traffic crisis manager. Kung ang scope na sinasabi ninyo buong Pilipinas, traffic crisis manager kayo ng buong Pilipinas, hindi lang ng Metro Manila? Potentially po. Uh, it depends on this. Ninyo. It depends on the setup that will be uh, adopted in the other urban areas. Okay. If the IAC setup for Metro Manila will be adopted, will be the model for Cebu and Dabao, for example, then that will be the case, Your Honor. Okay, so wala pang plano din? There is already an IAC uh, uh -huh. model, Your Honor. What is an IAC? The IAC is the Interagency Council for Traffic, uh, which is already existing, Your Honor. We, okay. This was set up in the latter part and, of the And, you know, that's the point I'm trying to drive at. Huh? Once you say Boom Pilipinas under this bill, lahat pakikiraman ninyo as traffic crisis manager. We will pinpoint areas, Your Honor. Uh, so you've not pinpointed them today. Mm -hmm. Yun ang ko eh. Mawawala ang focus. Ang pinakamalaking problema ngayon would only be, I suppose, in Metro Manila, maybe Cebu and Dabao. So why not focus just on the three? Why do you want 1,500 municipalities, 80 provinces, 105 cities? Magiging kalat-kalat kayo dyan kung sakasakali. The, the At sinasabi ninyo, in effect, traffic crisis manager kayo ng buong Pilipinas, kukunin nyo yung kapangyarihan ng lahat ng local government unit, ako walang problema sa MMDA, walang problema buong Metro Manila, sa kayo na, subukan natin. Pero bakit buong Pilipinas? Magulo yan. Ha? But, sige, let's move on. Ha? Let's move on. Ha? Single authority. Ah, malawak na malawak yung mga kapangyarihan na dinalagay ninyo dito at nakakabahala kung wala pang plano talaga. Ah. O sige, let's go to specific engineering. So there's a lot of issues here. Eh. Ah. Pati customs, gusto niyo pakialaman. Sa seaports. Staffing of Batangas and Subic ports with sufficient Bureau of Customs and BPA personnel an example. Huh? Okay. 
At ang karamihan dito, gusto niya dito, direct contracting, walang bidding. Okay? O oh, sige, let's go specific para maintindihan to. Okay. You submitted a proposed list of projects. 1.3 trillion more or less. Okay? Ano yung funding source sa mga to? Uh, How much morning. is in the budget for 2017 sa DODR? Uh, good morning, uh, Chair Madam Chairman and uh, Honorable Senator Rento. Uh, we submitted already a list of projects and uh, we also submitted a summary wherein we uh, identified that the total budget proposed uh, projects that we submitted under the emergency power is about 1.2 trillion. Correct. But we also one two seventy five. Yes, sir. Diba? Okay. But we also identified uh, those which Say have. That. You submitted this. It is not for proposed funding. No, no, sir. You submitted this. These are the potential projects that you want to undertake with a different set of laws. Yes, particularly sir. for direct contracting as well. No, uh, not uh, all direct contracting. Uh, yeah. okay. If I may continue, yeah. yes, please. Uh, we all, we uh, provided a table, a summary, uh, wherein we identified. Ito po yung hinihisa na namin sa special power budget lang. May mga identified okay. kami okay. projects. Secretary, uh, you sec, you sec, uh, so that we don't waste time. Okay. This bill is not a supplemental budget. Yes, sir. Right. <coughs> So what special power budget are you talking about? We are thinking, uh, Your Honor, that uh, since we cannot fund it under the GAA, the present uh, funding with uh, the General Appropriations so Act. So keeping Sabihin, you are admitting, USEC, that it is not found in the 2017 National Expenditure Plan. Yes, sir. Tama? Yes, sir. Okay, so even if we give you emergency powers there is no funding source yes sir that's why uh, if possible if okay. congress will grant no, no, us no 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 that's not the point hindi ba kayo nag-uusap ng DBM nanawagan na ako nung kailan ba yan uh, July, August, September press releases na sinabi ko na dahil pag-uusapan tong emergency powers na ilagay na ninyo Mag-earmark na kayo ng pondo sa 2017 budget. This is not a supplemental budget. Eh. This is not a general appropriation fund. Di ba? Yes, sir. Oh. So, maliwanag, there is nothing in the budget for 2017 uh, some that of will the address in a significant way this list of projects that you want to undertake. Sir, in the summary, we also identified those projects which have already uh, a provision under the 2017 budget Such and, as? Uh, uh, and beyond because there are some correct, projects correct. that are... Okay. Pag-usapan muna natin, okay. simplify it. Dalawa kasi yan eh. There are only two funding sources. The General Appropriations Act is one, which is the major, and the second is PPP. Yes, sir. The PPP is not found in the budget. Ito yung sinasabi kong dumadaan ng NEDA at NEDA board. At alam ko yan dahil naging sekretary tayo ng NEDA. Okay? Noong September, nagpasa ang NEDA board ng ilang proyekto. Doon sa listahan na yun, halos kukundi lang din ang nakalista doon based on your list. Maybe the significant one is your BRT. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Ayun, pwede yeah. natin pag-usapan yan a bit later on. Okay? But the main point that I'm trying to drive at at this point in time is itong listahan ninyo, sa katunayan, walang funding source sa ngayon. Uh, yung iba po, ina-admit ko namin. Na, o oh, sige. So, of the 1.3 trillion, roughly, Alin yung may funding source sa GAA next year? Ito po yung uh, may funding sources, 19.7 billion for the existing GAA budgets, 2015 and 2016. 
2015. Wala, next year, hindi na ninyo magagamit. Meron pong funding sa 2016 po. Correct. Yung iba. Na, not 15, ha? Uh, 15 po until December 31. Na Correct. Lang. Oh, magagamit lang ninyo next year, 16 and 17. Yes. Uh, okay, yeah. thank you. Okay. 2017 naman po, we also identified, and beyond, uh, 227 billion. Yun ang pinoprograma po namin under 2017 and beyond. Kasi ngayon pong 2017, ang na-approve lang sa amin na infra projects is about 39 billion. Correct. Apo. And of the 39 billion, ano yung para sa EDSA? Sa, 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 sa EDSA? Uh, yung pong portion doon yung sa BRT. Sa uh, BRT po, uh, yung preliminary uh, uh, study, feasibility study okay, pa lang po. Kasi yung okay. walang po yung stage. So ngayon, feasibility study lang pala? Ang stage po. Okay, ang stage. Yes. Paano pag lumabas sa feasibility study, hindi siya pala feasible? Uh, kung ganun po, uh, hindi, baka i-revise po yung plano to make it uh, more uh, responsive to the needs sa EDSA traffic po. Is that part, and that's precisely the point eh, meron tayong mga resolution na finale na meron na tayong inaprobahan master plan supposed to be, di ba? Yung JICA plan, transport plan in Metro Manila. Does this fit with that plan? Or binabago ba natin yung plano? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the BRT is part of the plan. Okay. So let me uh, let, let me start. correct, uh, Your yeah. Honor, uh -huh. that uh, the BRT in Edsa pala is uh, nasa detailed engineering design stage na po. Okay. So may feasibility study na. Yes, uh, Your Honor. Uh, actually, nag, nag uh, prepare po na presentation yung BRT. Yeah. No, we want we, we will ask them to present the money in a while. Eh. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So okay, para uh, simplify pa natin even further. Oh, sige. Ano yung pinaka-importanteng project o engineering na pwede rin yung umpisahan next year? If, we're, if there were top three, top four, top five projects, ano yung, na may funding source, ha? Kasi kahit ibigay natin itong emergency power kung walang funding source, wala rin. Hindi ko ba? Yes, Your Honor. Uh -huh. Sa road uh, sector po, kasi ang uh, sinabmit po namin projects is uh, sectoral mm -hmm. para mas maintindihan po natin. Uh -huh. Sa road sector po, ang uh, immediately na nakikita namin na makaka-address ng traffic is yung uh, maumpisanan yung construction ng integrated terminals. Yung po both sa south at saka sa southwest. Yung isa po sa coastal mall, uh, it's about to be... When you say integrated terminal, ano ibig sabihin nun? Doon po lahat yung mga buses and PUVs na galing sa south, doon po sila magdeterminate. Okay. And then yung mga tao... So, alimbawa sa south, saan? Uh, can we pass it on no, to... No, we will do that. Ha? We will do that. Yeah, kay yung sektan po, yun po yung oh, detalye. Sa road po siya. One quick one lang, ha? Sige. Good morning, uh, Madam Chairman. Good morning, uh, Senator. Yes, uh, about the ITS. Yung pong sa south, ITS south, yun po yung nasa FTI. Ang okay. magte-terminate po doon yung mga provincial Yan, process. Yan, na-bid out na ba yan? Hindi Opo. ba? Tapos na yan, hindi ba? So, ongoing na yan. Ongoing na po yung Through VEP. PPP yan. Opo, yes. Po. Okay, Opo. so tapos na yan. Ginagawa na yan. Wala na tayong magagawa Opo. dyan. Uh, but, yan ba yung BRT aabot doon? Uh, may, yung pong sa C5, may connection po yun. May gagawin to po tayong BRT sa C5. But, sa ngayon po, yun ay... Uh, yun wala yun pa. Uh, ano, wala pa dito sa listahan yun eh. Uh, wala pa yun dito okay. eh. Yung po okay. sa Southwest, uh, yun po yung uh, uh, sa manggagaling na mga Kasi bus. dapat kung may terminal yan, pagbaba mo, Opo. sasakay ka na ng city bus. So in this Opo. case, dapat BRT. Di ba? So malabo pa yun. Matagal pa yan. Uh, sa ngayon, opo. Uh, in, okay. Mayroon po kaming interim na, na pwedeng gawin doon. In the meantime, na wala pa po yung BRT ng C5. At yun po yung ginagawa namin ngayon na rationalization uh, ng route. I hope you're correct ah, in what you're doing here. Ah. Kasi once this infrastructure is already constructed at mali, hindi na natin mababago yan. That is the point I'm trying to drive out here. 
Pag nagkamali tayo dyan, lintik-lintik ang aabutin natin, di ko ba? Okay? But I'll leave that the expertise to you. Okay? Pero wala na tayong magagawa dyan dahil ongoing na yan. Na-build out na yan, di ko ba? O ano pa? Ang tinatanong ko, ano yung gagawin ninyo next year? Ay, yun nga po. Yung hindi pa na-build out, na-build out na yan eh. Uh, opo, uh, na i-construct na po yung uh, Southwest in, uh, the, in the next few mm, days. Magsisimula na po sila ng construction. We expect to finish them in uh, uh, after 18 months. Okay. So by that time po, naayos na natin yung ruta na galing ng pupunta doon ng mga bus uh, na, mag, na kukuha ng mga pasahero sa uh, Southwest. So ganun po yung magiging uh, uh, patakbo. Meron po tayong uh, ginagawang public transport network plan at yun po yung malalaman natin sa base sa mga naging study kung saan dapat dumaan yung mga, kung saan pupunta yung mga taong galing doon at doon po natin lalagyan ng uh, ruta ng mga bus o nang kung mas maliit, yeah, pwede yung mga AUV po. Sige. Oh, what else are you gonna be doing next year? Uh, yung pong... Uh, BRT, uh, posible pong, meron po tayong isang BRT sa Manila, Quezon City. Manila, Quezon City. At uh, yung po ay nasa DED stage pa rin. In the meantime, When you say DED? Uh, detailed Engineering Design po. Oh. Uh, procurement po tayo doon. So ngayon. in effect, what you want to do there based on the bill is direct contracting sa consultancy na gagawa ng detailed engineering design. Hindi uh, ba? Yes po. Tama? Okay. Okay. Oh, ano pa? What else? Uh, yung sa, sa Man Metro Manila po, yun pa lang. Yung pong, meron po tayong sa Cebu na BRT, Cebu naman din po yun. Detailed Engineering Design din. Opo. Matatapos na po yun. Ang kailangan lang namin na... Uh, Gano'ng katagal gagawin yung Detailed Engineering Opo. Design? Gano'ng katagal? Um, matatapos na po yun, nasa 90 plus percent uh, completed. Pero kailangan pa rin po na uh, makapag... You know, I have one fundamental Pro question. Why do you... Why do you have to procure these consultants to do detailed engineering design? Wala kayong technical expertise in the DOTR. <coughs> Institutionally, uh, Mr. Chair, yung pong BRT is a new uh, project na ngayon lang po natin ginagawa sa, um, dito po sa ating bansa. Uh, uh, kaya po tayo ay nag uh, humihingi po tayo ng technical assistance from uh, from uh, our partners, development partners. Natulungan po tayo sa pag uh, so, hindi ba uh, dapat meron tayo sariling mga engineers? Meron pong, sa habang pong ginagawa ito, uh, ay meron, meron po tayong ini-assign na ating mga uh, Hindi kaya ang gawin ng DPWH yan. Civil works yan. Engineering design lang yan. Uh, regarding the detailed engineering design, it's uh, uh, regarding uh, transportation uh, <coughs> projects. It's uh, it's more our specialty is more on uh, construction of roads, and when it comes to uh, there's I guess there's certain intricacies regarding these uh, projects that would require a uh, yeah. uh, outside expertise. No, I understand, uh, Secretary. But the point is, as far as DPWH is concerned, kaya yung gumawa ng detailed engineering design ng airport, seaport, civil works lahat yan eh. Toll road. Uh, Do you need it, it's not under the man yeah. to design airports, and it's not under a mandate. We have a lot of engineers. Correct. It's not really our. Ma it's not our specialization. It's never been our mandate. I understand. Uh, so uh, I mean, but we, we your, can. With regard to your mandate, you can do detailed civil engineering. We can. We can help. Yeah, certainly, we can. Uh,